What is going on dudes and matters of the team and welcome back to Valkyrie Chronicles 4. Man, this is going to be the last ser the last actual uh, main let's play. What? English. Um, this is going to be the last episode of the main series. We're going to do a bonus episode where we do the beach episode because I do want to do that because that was part of I think the main story in Valkyrie Chronicles 1. But yeah, so... At the end of the last episode, there was a ceasefire right before we could explode our ship and detonate the Imperial Capital, so we'll see what happens here. All of the main bosses are gone, so I don't know what's going to happen. The only, I guess you have Kiara and Nikola and then the, the mad scientist, whatever his name was. Anyways, let's do it. Uh, I, forgot, I didn't pay attention to the name of this one. Finished. We did it. You made me proud. I think every one of those people except for Miles was on the bench. Hello, Waltz. They've got to be around here somewhere. You... You're... Lieutenant Colonel Klaus Waltz of the Imperial Army. This is Cremaria and her faithful knight, Fenrir. <sighs> the Winter Witch! <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I'm Captain Claude Wallace. I'm commanding this op in place of Captain Roland Morgan. Claude! So you're the leader of Squad E! My soulmate, we finally meet! Uh... I'm the commander of Ausbrook. After all the times we've clashed, it's a pleasure to see you in person. Never thought we'd see each other alive. Lady Luck works in mysterious ways. So you were the man in the black tank. Forsetti told me all about you, Claude Wallace. Now I finally have a face to put to the stories. They called you strange, but incredible. Forsetti said that? Something happened to him. He's dead. Hmm. And you, over there, you've got his hair. So you're his sister. He told me about you, too. He did? Forsetti never talked much about himself, but he let a few things slip here and there. He felt pretty bad about the hell he put you through. I guess he had big plans to make it all up to you. Once he achieved his goal, he was gonna take asylum in a neutral country and live there. Just the three of us. The three of us, together. So, he still loved me after all. Running away to atone for his sins. That's my brother, all right. Always did whatever he damn well pleased. Not what I expected from the infamous vaults. Yeah. Believe me, he can be absolutely insufferable. <laughs> and an incorrigible womanizer, besides. Not what you expected from the Winter Witch, either, I take it. The truth... is stranger than fiction. What happens to her now? I don't know. She's been through so much. More than she can handle, I'm afraid. Indeed. But we'll take care of her. I promise. Alright. 
Next up, Cold Dignity. Great. Almost a shame, really. I didn't intend to show my hand so soon. So be it then. Begin. Yes, Doctor. Now, come with me. There's nowhere to run on the Crystal Sea. Ah, the fruits of our labor. The miracle Al and I created. Valkyria induced Ragnite implosion. The ultimate source of power. I won't let anyone else have it. It's mine. All mine! <laughs> well then. All right, for Angie. The Centurion! It's been harpooned. They're dragging it into the canal. He's after the bomb. Guess he wants to take it out to sea. But staging a one-man encore? Bad form, Doc. Bad form. Will you guys help us, please? Miles, Dan, Ronald, come here. We're going to board the Centurion and take it back. That's way too dangerous! How are we supposed to board it? We'll never catch up! Klaus. Yeah. Hey, you can borrow my tank. Lieutenant Colonel. To be fair, she's too beat up to fight. Just like me. But she can still run just fine. You of all people know how fast she is. I appreciate it. All right, let's go. Then hey, wait for me! Riley, you stay here and... If we run the ship back toward land, we can keep the sub from taking it. You're gonna play tug-of-war with a submarine? If we don't, they'll take the Centurion, with Angie inside. <laughs> I'm the only one who can get the ship there fast enough. Take me with you. Okay, I'm counting on you to get it moving. Your wish is my command. All right. Wow. Interesting. I didn't expect this to be the last mission. A send off for the young. You're in charge of backup, Kai. Right. See you soon. Okay. We should get going too. Don't die out there. I will save her. Kinda reminds me of him. She's a real fine woman. <laughs> hey, easy. I was talking about her integrity, not her ass. Hitting a tank against that metal monstrosity. They're all fools. Yeah, that's what I love about them. Through the madness of the battlefield, they held on to the things that smart people throw away. Innocence, honesty, recklessness. And then again, maybe that's just youth. No wonder a fossil like me couldn't beat them. I'm obsolete. <laughs> All right, next up, tug of war.
Okay, we made it aboard. We just caught up to them. Okay. Part of me kind of assumed that the, the actual first battle, we, we, it'd be two battles, and the first battle would be, you know, getting far enough up while fighting the Empire to get to the, back to the ship, but anyway, I'm glad, I'm kind of glad. Maybe it's one battle, we'll see. I already knew Imperial tank technology was cutting edge, but feeling that acceleration firsthand? What a rush! How's the engine room? <sighs> Looks alright. Can you get it running again? I'll try. Keep watch for me. How's it going? Ready! You boys pull those levers at the same time! Got it! Revving up the main reactor. Full speed ahead! <laughs> All right, it's working. It's down to a test of strength between us and them. Angie, if you can hear me, we need your help. All right, Belgar's menace. Uh oh. The Centurion is resisting. Honestly, they always insist on doing things the hard way. Yeah, why can't they see? The reactor's true potential can only be realized in my hands. I would have thought Riley would understand at least. Well, I'll just have to move up my plans. Keep our guests entertained until then. After all, genius is 1% revelation. 99% improvisation. Hmm. Okay then. Retaking the ship. I guess I was kind of right, huh? We have to take back the Centurion. Okay. Come on. Submarine is our ship anchored tight. So Squatty's mission is closing on the enemy sub and destroy the harpoon cannons. Remember the ice is breaking, so if the sub gets too far away, we'll lose our shot. We don't have much time to so make the most of the APC and your leader's direct commands. Okay, so is there any... I don't know. Maybe there's a specific way to destroy it? Maybe I can just use grenades. The Centurion's fate is in your hands, Captain Wallace. Our target is the submarine. Destroy the harpoons and give the Centurion a chance to escape. Squad E, move out! Reporting in and ready for action. All right, everyone, listen up. That submarine is trying to steal the Centurion with those harpoons. There are six of them. The wire's too sturdy to cut. So, aim for the base of the harpoons and destroy them all. Do, 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 do. This is a deadlier opponent than any we've ever faced. Keep your eyes open and adapt to the situation. Squatty, let's get out there and save our ship! God, this theme is bringing me back, man. Targeting you with its main cannon. One hit from that, and you're a goner. I can predict where it'll land, so keep your distance and stay out of the blast radius. Fire! Got one. Is it going down? God. Damn, the sub went under. So like, I have to be able to get onto the ship, but I don't know how. And I can't hit the things on the far side because I can't get there. And then some of them are very out of the way so that it's difficult to hit them with the Lancer and the tank from farther, far away. You can't do anything if it's beneath the surface. I did take out one of them. Our chance will come. Just have to be ready for it.
<laughs> These kids just get picked on. Well, there it is again, but now it's moved a massive amount of space and we still have to take out five of the Claude, the submarine resurfaced five of the things but why staying submerged would have been safer maybe the centurion is pulling it back up that's gotta be it angie's trying her hardest for us this is our window of opportunity gotta be something we can use yeah let's hope there that ice formation we can use that to board the sub then attack the base points of the harpoons on deck Hit it as hard as you can before it resubmerges. Angie's doing her best, and so should we. Okay. We just took the base below that, so. Cool. Beat this. Listen up. There's no telling when it'll resubmerge. Destroy the harpoons as fast as you can. If it's about to go under, get off the deck quickly, or you'll be taken down with it. Riley. What is that thing? It's a radiator. We can disable it. That's what I'm gonna try and do. I'm not I guess a pump to send water to the ballast tanks. Or an external depth control tank? A submarine this big needs a lot of help submerging. So you're saying if we attack it, we can delay it from going under. It's worth a shot, and one shot's all I need. Eat this! All right, we did it. We destroyed them. It will recover in one turn. All right. So I don't get it very long. Fire! All right, two down. What? Here we go. Only two more. Surfaced. Now's our chance. Board it. I don't know how long we have, so take out as many harpoons as you can. Okay, do get a new boarding point. I only have two more to actually take out. The, there's one in the front and one on the top. How's that? Yes, let's go, Laurel. Ura! Boom goes the dynamite. Let's go, Laurent and freaking Jean get MVPs for that, dude. They went onto the boat and they destroyed literally all of them, except for the except for one. That takes care of the harpoons. Yes. Nice. See, yeah, I can understand that. But it's also weird because I guess it was possible that I did I completed it in six, but faster than that is really dumb because I don't you can't really beat it on the first turn or anything like that and as soon as I was able to get onto the thing then you know I was able to de even defeat one of the turrets on the first turn but it was it was obviously ammo limitations were the main problem all right here we go diversion They broke the bonds. Good. I mean, you were there when they did it. What now, Claude? Capture the vessel? Not yet. There's a ceasefire in place. Let them make the first move. Captain Wallace! We're fine, Marie. Emergency! Enemy soldiers have already boarded the ship! What? While we were fighting on the surface, they snuck aboard from under the sea. They're heading for the engine room. They must be after whatever's in the restricted area. Damn. The harpoons were just a diversion. Cool. 
blinded by science. Hello there, my dear. We meet at last. Wonderful. Just wonderful. Beyond my wildest dreams. I've worked on hundreds of Valkyria, yet none have radiated such beautiful azure light. It's even more brilliant than the glow of Ragnite. But I want to see the sun. Now, let there be light! of a supernova. It's a miracle. Do you see it too, Al? Clear as day. The Valkyria is reaching critical mass. Good. Good. All that remains is to measure it. I need precise data on the explosion. But you're gonna get yourself killed. <laughs> Whose hypothesis will prove true, Al? Yours or mine? Well, shit. Fatal light. What? What's that light? Ragnite? No, it's stronger than that. I've seen this before. But the Cavalier. The A2 bomb has been activated. Angelica! No! Don't do it, Andy! The final battle. This is it. Our last mission. Okay, the Centurion has been set to detonate. Lieutenant Miller, we need you to board the ship and deactivate the A2 bomb. Should Lieutenant Miller, fa Miller fall, we'll have no way of stopping the detonation sequence. Just about the state of the Centurion, you don't have much time left. Once the Lieutenant reaches the ship, squad E will concentrate on the enemy's amphibious tank. Its armor looks extremely durable, so the radiator may be its only vulnerable spot. And even the radiator is armored, so aiming with normal methods could prove difficult. But there is an opening just big enough for a soldier to reach from the top of the tank. Engineers should be able to set up ladders on the side and back of the tank. Also, you can find that you can target the guns in the tank to put a damper on its firepower. Destroying all guns ought to give you a chance to safely reach in the radiator. Okay, I only get three turns to do it. All right, well, looks like this is the Lancer's time to shine. You're cleared for deployment, Squad E. Please, let's end this once and for all. This might be our final battle. Squad E, move out and destroy that submarine. Still skulking about, are you? Why are you meddling with our noble experiment? What is your goal here? Where's the logic in your actions? And why do you always, always, always try to measure things by your own metrics? How illogical, how unproductive, how despicably regressive! 
understand my genius. You Neanderthals, you troglodytes, you knuckle-dragging Luddites. Heretics like you don't even deserve to be burned by the sapphire flames of progress. Be gone with you. Leave this holy sanctuary at once! If Angie reaches critical mass, she'll explode! I will not let that happen. Cover me, Claude. I'll board the Centurion and keep her from detonating. But the reaction's already started. Can you stop it? It should be possible. No, I'll make it possible. Trust me, I'm a scientist. <sighs> okay, I'll get you to the Centurion. Please, get Angie out of there. Dr. Miller's on the job. Okay, it's going under the ice. What the fuck is it doing? Cool, it better get to stop right there. Better not get to move anymore. This one can dive too? How low can they sink? Fight us face to face already! But it's still a tank. Can't stay down there for long. Ooh, something's exposed now. Idea. Still, won't catch up by tailing behind. We need to predict where it'll surface or make it surface. Either way, it's our move now. Enemy spotted! Let's wipe them out! I made it to the Centurion, heading for the reactor. Go! You can do this. I believe in you. Claude! Miles, evasive maneuvers! What's taking so long? Destroy them now! I'm trying to conduct an experiment! Even if Riley defuses the bomb, the war won't end until we end him. All right, everyone, we finished this. Here and now. Squad E, advance! Yep. We got 20 turns now. No! No, 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 that's so... Dude. I fucking missed. Point. That's so dumb. That's so dumb. I... Hate this. I will not let you interfere. No more. Do you have any idea how long Albert and I have waited for this moment? We shall spark a scientific revolution to take the world by storm. The promises we made, the dreams we shared, they're finally coming true. Oh, if only Albert could see this, he should be here with me. Why did you do it, Al? Why did you deny me? Because you're a crazy-ass motherfucker. Man, that was so ri ridiculously back, yeah. irritating. I'm not gonna lie. Because nice it was such a small window, and the, the only place you could actually aim at the radiator, it said one to kill. Okay, perfect. I hit it. It doesn't kill. Let's hope that nothing happens to Laurent. He just doesn't get bucked off and get hurt. The azure light is mine and mine alone. All units attack. Inject the stimulus. Fucking great. Disappear. What the? 
It blew a camp away in just one shot. Unreal. That thing cannot be allowed to fire again. The good news is it'll need time to reload. Keep it from firing and take it down. <laughs> We're trying. Trust me, the game is lagging so much because so much is literally happening. I repeat, when it's preparing to fire, focus your attacks on the main cannon. How? From where? We can't aim at the main cannon. We can't get up to that part. Now it's going under the water again. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Gotta get behind it somehow. Yep. Looks like the terrain is forcing the enemy to dive and surface at a select few points. If we can block the holes it's using, we'll limit its options. With what? But how? I've got it. If we knock over those ice formations, it might just work. Send an engineer and have them demolish it. Go! There's not a second to spare! I'll make it happen. Thanks, Minerva. Okay. Dora! Two radiators dead. I remember that day. In that backwater Gallian sweatshop you called a factory. I offered you my hand, but you brushed it aside. You said you'd never join the Empire. Then you twisted the knife and told me you had no intention of finishing our studies. Why did I go? I groveled at the feet of those pompous Imperials to rise through the ranks. And for what? It was all for you. To create the perfect environment for us to complete our research. We wouldn't have had to worry about funding, or deadlines, or red tape, or ethics. I actually don't care, so shut up. I set the stage for us, and waited for you to join me. Okay, get some distance and break that ice. Cool, I blocked out one of his areas. This has been super frustrating. I hate this mission. It worked. Splendidly done. This is almost worse than the Valkyria mission. Because just this thing zips around and expects you to be able to get your engineers in different places and whatever. When like, you know, after using three AP your or three points, your units stop being able to move far enough. Are you watching, Squad F? Perhaps we failed to destroy the Empire. But we shall defeat our true enemy. We will be victorious. Third one down. But you, Albert Miller, you betrayed me. You abandoned our dreams. It was only logical that you die. Against my wishes, you tried to kill our precious research, our dream. And if that wasn't cruel enough, you told me the Azure Light should never be born! He wasn't wrong. That it wasn't meant to shine on this world! You claim it should not exist for the sake of your daughter and her entire generation! On that day, your body died, but your legacy lives on! Just look at that beautiful blue glow. Our research, our hearts and souls made manifest. Our dream is finally being realized. That's right, Al. This is the light of our creation. The future we dreamed of. I forgive you for everything. Let's start over. Let's wipe the slate clean. Okay, I was able to block off two of these areas, so that's good. Now I think he can only come back out the way that he, in the place that he is, 
which could be good because that could allow me to finish off that fourth radiator. Good. It came right back. <laughs> Somehow, John has clipped outside of this railing. Not exactly sure how it happened, but she's standing to on top me. of the radiator. Hell yeah. And there we go. All four of them down. That's really operation complete. We don't even have to take out the other one. Sure. Works for me. Great. It's quiet. Did we really stop the tank? I don't think so. I really hope this is in a three battle chapter. It's nearly been three hours. Bravo, Claude. Victory is ours. Let's hope. That was a stronger enemy than any we'd ever faced. But there was still no match for Squad E. Yeah. It's thanks to all of you. Now we can go save Angie. Wait a minute. Where's Riley? I can't get through to her. Is she still on the Centurion? I mean, she must be. Miles, head for the ship. I know it's dangerous, but... Please! You got it, Claude. Come what may, I'm ready to follow you to the ends of the Earth. Yeah, see, I don't really care. I don't know if I'll ever try to A-rank these past two missions. I just... Last one, okay, I can maybe understand. You have to have... Whatever. Oh my god, I don't... It was just not, not fun. Angie, please tell me it isn't too late. I'll save you. Lord Belgar, I killed the enemy. Lord Belgar, I did not fail. I'm not like Kiara. Well, your Lord Belgar is dead because of the guy you failed to kill. You are an enemy. Kill Lord Belgar's enemies. Get out of my way! Kill. <gasps> Riley, we're out of time. Go, go, go! Got it! I'm fine. A little pain won't stop me. Angie, I'm coming. Wait. I have to go. Someone I love needs me. Someone I love. Lord Belgar. You don't love Lord Belgar. Lord Belgar. Where are you, Kiara? I hope this isn't three battles. Angie! Angie! The Imperials left this here. It must be forcing the implosion to happen. If I can reverse engineer it, I can stop it. I can't lose Angie to this. Not to some sick, twisted corruption of Dad's research. I was such an idiot. I never even considered why Dad refused to give his work up to the Empire. I just completed the research and handed it over to the United Goddamn States, no questions asked. I wasn't ready to deal with the consequences. I only cared about revenge. <sighs> My blind hatred did this to you, Angie. So I promise I'll rescue you, no matter what. 
Dad did not invent Ragnite compression to hurt people. He didn't refine his theories to continue the cycle of hate. All he wanted was to make people happy. That goes for you too, Angie. You were born to be happy! I will... I will get you out of here! Can't you go any faster? Sorry, the road's really bumpy. Riley, answer me. Riley! Damn it! I can't get through! <laughs> Riley! Are you okay? I got Andy, but I can't quite. You saved her? I'm on my way. Where are you? Engine room's on fire. I can't move. Andy... She's sleeping like an angel. A real life. Riley, hang in there. I'm fine. Hearing your voice takes my mind off it. Okay. Well, what, what can we... Uh, I know. Let's talk about Hoffen. Hoffen? I want to go home. And we will. Really, really soon. You're gonna rebuild that factory, right? Remembered. I was serious, you know. I've got big plans. Ideas to patent. Inventions to design. If I can just get the money, I can start any time. God, here I am, burning to death. I'm talking shop. Can we talk about something romantic? Sure. How about the Star Child Festival? Yeah, not bad. But we can't get those medals anymore. We're all grown up now. Raz and Kai are gone. We can't turn back the clock. Some parts of childhood you can only appreciate as an adult. When we get back, let's make some new memories. Happy ones. So many happy memories to make back in Hoffen. You and me together. Riley? Uh... Riley! Your light is mine, and mine alone. But if I can't have it, no one can! Lord Belgar. Oh, Nicola. Thank God you came back to me. Did you... fail? No, of course not. I have so much left to do. Hurry and help me up. We need to get to the Centurion and... I fail, Lord Belgar. You are a failure. Nonsense. I never fail. Quickly, Nicola. I... 
I know. Let's go together. <laughs> Good girl. Now, there's no time. Let's hurry. Don't be scared. I'll only hurt for a moment. The self-destruct switch? When did you... No more failures. Just like you wanted. Kiara is waiting for us. Come, Lord Belgar. N Nicola, stop! Don't you dare! I command you! <sighs> I was gonna say, he didn't get a very cer ceremonious end, um, so that makes some sense, I guess. No. Please, I can't lose them too. Not them too. Please, no. Russ. Brother. Save them! You have to help them! <gasps> Look! They made it out! Uh-oh. Here. She's going down. It's only a matter of time. Don't give up yet. No different from what we always do. When things are at their worst, we find a way through. That's true. That's Squad E. Our friends are always there for us. But we're alone. We're stuck alone on the ship, and there's no one left to save us. <sighs> the end, isn't it? He's right. We only made it this far because of our friends. Our squad. Their hopes. Their dreams. Their sacrifices. Now it's my turn to be a sacrifice. And that's all there is to it. Hey, Raz. Looks like I did get a little stronger. I'm sorry that it... it wasn't strong enough. <laughs> I tried, man. I gave it my best shot. I swear. You can't go down with the ship, my dude. You just, you can't. Impossible. It's not impossible. That's just how this shit works. You're lucky a son of a bitch on the planet. A miracle. Hey, Claude. I'm getting us out of here. Rest in peace, Centurion. You were with us until the very end. Our most stalwart friend. And the finest soldier of us all. So 
That's it. At least for the main story. I... I don't know. I'm not sure what to say. I like... I... This is... It was a lot of fun. Most of the time it was a lot of fun. It's a... It's a weird sort of strategy game that I just... I love and Claude is fucking awesome straight up it's kind of crazy that at the moment I have two series going on where I have two different Claudes who are absolute fucking badasses on the battlefield two different capacities oh man there's a there's a There's a lot of frustrations I had with some of the missions. Some of them were needlessly difficult in a way that wasn't fair. The first battle of this chapter was legitimately tough, but at the same time it was fair. And um, the second one, I just I hated how the f stupid thing go went around and whatever. I also really, really, really hate how when it when those. The super beefy tanks or whatever, the boss tanks, when they're moving and there's a unit in range, they just get to fire at it as they're, as they're moving along. They don't have to stop and specifically allocate the point to attack it. It's, they just get to fire as they go. That's one of the most, th the biggest things I hate. I, I just, it, I hate that part. But, you know, this was a lot of fun. Uh, it's a different sort of story than Valkyria Chronicles 1, because Valkyria Chronicles 1 was a more compact story where you just had a couple of characters just trying to defend their home. When in this case, our characters are doing it in a different way. They're actually head-on steamrolling the Empire. And it was definitely more over the top, I feel like, than Valkyria Chronicles 1. Um... It was, I, I, I think it was a better game in general than the first one. I really, really, really enjoyed the first one. It has a special place in my heart because that was like a, that was just like one of those hidden gem sort of things I ended up finding on Steam and I was so glad that I did. So, it's, yeah. <clears throat> and I was going to say, in this game, it, they made it a lot more impactful because you genuinely lost lost a, a unit that was a huge part of the story and you did really um interesting i don't i think i i don't know if this is a song specifically from this game or not i don't think so but <sighs> Man, I really love Max Middleman as Claude. He did a really damn good job. I'm not gonna lie. And Greg Chun is Raz. I, God, they, they fucking killed Raz at like the, the part. He was such a badass, man. I genuinely, genuinely loved loved Raz, and his death was so sad. And man. It, I don't know what to say, man. It was a good game, and I hope you all enjoyed the series. If you did, like, so it's appreciated. There's going to be one more bonus episode. I'm going to do the beach episode, and that should be fun. A little change of pace. We'll have everybody alive again, because it technically took place way before the final mission, so... <sighs> It's, I don't know, man. I'm glad to not have the second a second series be going right now, but it was a lot of it was it was a, it was a good game, and I enjoyed playing it. So, ooh, I'm glad I didn't stop recording.
Emeralds. I think this is the Imperial Capital. Those are the only two after credit scenes? Nope. As I say that. first set out, all we really knew was that we had something worth fighting for. None of us could have foreseen what the fight would cost us. And maybe... Maybe we'll never know if it changed us for the better. But in the end... Through all the hope... The tragedy. The things I hold on to are the memories of my friends, of their smiles. It was a battlefield, but it was where we grew up. With the unexpected announcement of a ceasefire, the Second European War came to an abrupt end. Leaving soldiers and civilians alike to count the Eastern Theater's almost unfathomable losses. A death toll numbering over 10 million. It had been a global war, a conflict beyond anything the world had ever faced. Historians speculate that the ceasefire saved Europa from a cataclysmic drop in population. How is 10 million not cataclysmic, dude? Yet the truth of Operation Cygnus and of the Valkyria themselves was swiftly hidden from the public eye. And so this story of those who crossed the frozen sea passed into history untold. Decorated mem members of Squad E, 32nd Armor Ranger Battalion. Everyone's gonna be alive. Except for Raz. And Curtis. Curtis killed in action defending Raz and... Yeah, well, Crystal wasn't really a part of our team. She was part of Squad F. Okay, so never mind. It wasn't... I, I thought that 10, 10 million was more than... Apparently, in the Second World War, like, 35 million people 
died, which is fuck. Or thirty-five seventy-five. It's fucking wild. Now let's see what what is post-game content, quote unquote. Our wars end. Huh. For your outstanding service to the Federation, our government has awarded you the Federation Star of Valor. Cool. Post game. After completing the main story, check our training R&D and skirmish. More game you complete, the more new content you'll unlock. Such as what? Okay, mission complete. Let's let's view the epilogue. Oh, this is what we just watched. Okay, so I wonder how much a ranking these missions would mean for the. Because I might try to complete the game, because there might be more content to to get. Because obviously we have the squad stories, and the one that I wanted. Want to do actually? We want to go to extra stories. Excuse me. We want to. We're gonna do S Squatty to the beach. We're definitely gonna do that one. A at least on camera, I should say. And from there, we're gonna. I'm gonna do the other, some other stuff off camera. So, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this series. If you did, like, appreciate it. This is gonna be a long episode, but you know what? We beat the game. So, thank you for watching, and make sure to subscribe for more. And I'll talk to you all later.